Today I am going to be speaking about Michael Jackson's song, Man in the Mirror, and the themes and issues that occurred during the video. Michael Jackson, who was also known as the King of Pop, he was born August 29th, 1958, and was a best-selling American singer, slash songwriter and dancer as a child. Jackson became the lead singer of his family singing group, also later known as Jackson 5. He then went on to become a solo artist, delivering number one hits from his albums Off The Wall, Thriller and Bad. He died from a drug overdose just before launching his comeback tour in 2009. In Man in the Mirror there are three main issues and they are police brutality, racism slash hate crimes and poverty. I will also talk about how these images are juxtaposed with images of the community coming together and also the other hin hidden messages throughout. The first issue shown is poverty. This is shown to viewers when we see an older homeless man pushing a trolley with all his belongings in it. In this scene, only the guy and the trolley are shown in colour, with the background in black and white. This is done so that viewers are captured and gain an understanding of what the video is going to be about. This represents the homeless, group in, the homeless groups in society. Another example of this is when a young African child is shown on his own looking super malnourished and anorexic. This represents the poor conditions that the kids and families have to unfortunately survive in as their economy isn't as built up as many other countries. This represents the less fortunate kids who are growing up poor. The next issue that I will be talking about is racism slash hate crimes. This is shown when a soldier is shown wearing a swastika armband inside of a van that is covered in racist slurs such as we hate race mixing and hate bus in big bold red letters so that viewers take note of the racism and to also give viewers a wake up call to how racism, hate and marginalising a group of people can lead to much more horrific events as represented by the swastika showing war and hate. The groups represented here are black people, white people and soldiers. Another example of racism is when Hitler is shown giving a speech to represent all the hate crimes he has committed. This is important to show because Hitler is one of, if not the most known man in the world when it comes to hate crimes, after all the horrific things he did to the Jews, disabled and black people. His armband is a swastika and this is shown in red as it is known as a symbol of hate and racism. The final issue I will be addressing is police brutality. The first time this is introduced is when the civil rights protest led by Dr Martin Luther King Jr is shown being terminated by the police in a violent manner. When the protesters are only trying to peacefully express themselves, citing the Black Lives Matter movement. When a policeman is shown in colour violently hitting protesters while they run, police a policeman is shown in colour so that viewers take note on the violence they are inflicting on the protesters as they beat and abuse them. Another time police brutality is shown is when viewers are shown three police officers who are men and are seen violently handing, handling an older black lady who then is pushed to the ground in a careless manner. This is used in order to show viewers the terrible mistreatment and misuse of power. It is used to their ability so that they are able to get away with such abuse onto women. The last theme is juxtaposing. This is used when scenes of war and violence are shown, but then contrasted with images of John Lennon posters that say, remember love. This is used so that viewers take note of the horrific events that happened in the past but then juxtaposed with images of love and community coming together, showing that if we all work together, we can make the world a better place. Another time this is done is when a homeless man is shown sleeping on a sidewalk, which shows poverty, but is then juxtaposed with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. making a civil rights speech. This is shown to show parts of the community where they've been knocked down and unfortunately have to live on the streets to survive, contrasted with people who are fighting 
to make a difference. Make that change.